Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alexis Garcia. And I'm Melissa Blankenship. And we are the new online social media managers for the Puyallup Post. We are here today at Spooner Farms to talk to people about their plans for Halloween and kind of interview them. My name is Robin. All right, so what's your position here? I am the manager's assistant. Awesome. So how has business been so far this season? It's been really wonderful. Um, we definitely keep busy throughout the week. The weekends have been a lot more busy, and we are seeing a lot of happy families just really grateful to get out of their homes right now. That's awesome. So how have procedures changed at all, like how they normally would be? We've definitely increased by hundreds and hundreds of percent um, cleaning. We've increased our staff and um, just regular like rotations of sanitizing and making sure that door handles are sanitized, tables and chairs, um, and definitely routinely walking the uh, farm to make sure everyone's wearing their mask properly and following social distancing rules. So those are definitely um, things that we've added into our daily routine, as well as making sure we have sanitizing stations around the farm for uh, individuals to use and plenty of bathrooms. <laughs> Kelsey White and me and my boyfriend wanted to come look at pumpkins and get the full fall effect. <laughs> get lost in the corn maze. <laughs> my name's Hunter Goodnight. What are your plans for Halloween? Uh, spending it with my boyfriend at his house and watching movies. Madison. All right, so how many people would you say go through the Spooner Speedway a day? The Spooner Speedway, um, actually, I'm not positive about that one. I oh. don't normally work here, like in this position. Oh. So on a day like this, probably 100. Oh, okay. That's so. cool. Yeah. So has it been a good season so far? It's been a pretty good season, um, especially for everything else going on. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you see, but we have like sanitizer everywhere, so yeah. we're trying to make sure everything's clean. Um, that's all we can do, and make sure people keep their mask on. So. Right. Anthony. Anthony. Shannon. Shannon. Cool. And Elaine. What are your plans for Halloween this year, given COVID-19? We're planning on putting little treat bags out for kids to grab, but that way we're not touching the candy and they're not touching, like, sorting through candy. What is the reason for being here today? Well, I was hoping it wouldn't be super busy on a weekday. <laughs> 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 um, but we're just trying to stay reasonably distanced. Okay. Reasonably distance, but have her exposed to at least some of the tradition. I am very pleased to see that people are social distancing, so that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much. My name's Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi. So how many people would you say usually code through the corn maze a day? Oh, it really depends on if you're on the weekend, you've probably got hundreds. Mm -hmm. uh, probably as far as here. Probably a couple hundred. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's the most like popular attraction here? Mm. One of the top ones, yes. Oh, awesome. I mean, you've got the pumpkins. That's the biggest. <laughs> yeah, so has it been a good season so far? It has. So please state your name for me. Dan. Dan, okay. Thank you so much. So what is your reason for kind of being here today with your family? Uh, we have a newborn baby, and we just wanted to show them the sights and sounds and just show them around. Okay, that's, that's really cool. Um, so, what are your plans for Halloween with your newborn? Uh, we were going to take him trick-or-treating, but I think 
because of corona and the flu and everything we're we're trying not to expose them to too much right now okay so it's probably going to be a stay at home kind of night interesting so do you get many uh children running around in your neighborhood no we don't okay. we're, we're in a condo complex so ah, i see what's it like being here when you know you have so many people around you uh it doesn't bother me being outside and it's open air it doesn't bug me i'm caleb hayden okay dale dale interesting okay so why are you here today what is your kind of plan for going around the spinner forums today we mm -hmm. wanted to go to the corn maze because we are interested in um, doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting into the fall spirit, you know. So, do you like this place? Is it, is it a very welcoming environment, or what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, it's my first time coming, and it's really, it's been, it's fun, fun. I didn't know they had this much stuff here. Yeah, with the, all the food over there, and the animals, and the pumpkin patch, it's, it's pretty cool. Awesome. Did you see all the attractions today? No, we, we, just, we got just got here, here like <laughs> 10 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. we haven't made a chance to go all the way around. You know why? Yeah, your messing Hi, I'm here with Sarah, Leah, and what are you guys here for today? All of the above. Pumpkins, fun times. It's always a tradition for me to come here every year, so I want to come and just pick up some cute pumpkins and do the maze. Do you have a favorite attraction? Um, I have to say the pumpkins, because you get some really cute photos, or the really small ones are cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, pumpkins and the corn mazes are just really fun. Yeah. This year's theme is Peter Pan, so... <laughs> are you guys having any Halloween plans at all this year? I work Halloween, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm dressing up for work and hopefully going to a Halloween party afterwards. Ooh, what are you dressing up as? Uh, Winifred from Hocus Pocus. Oh, cool. Are you dressing up at all? Yeah, I'm going to um, dress up as Reptar from Rugrats. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like chicken. Hey, uh, Mr. Pony from Spooner Farms, right? Yeah? Um, who are you voting for? He doesn't want to talk to us today. <laughs> 